myself chinchu i'm working as a nursing trainer here in potia medicals bedridden patients need a special attention because they are not able to do anything by self so a nurse assistant is always required to take care of their daily activities including the personal hygiene the second concern is their pain assessment along with the general examination vital parameter monitoring level of consciousness monitoring with the help of a glasgow goma scale and there are some other monitoring also which is essential for a bedridden patient the bed sore assessment has to be done on a frequent interval to avoid the occurrence of a bed sore or a wound another concern is dietary management based on the doctor's order or based on the patient's requirement the diet has to be followed and the feeding has to be given accordingly there are different ways of feeding the patient either through oral if the patient is not able to swallow the things then a tube will be inserted through their nose directly into the stomach which is called as a rails tube the nurses will be giving the feeding through the rails tube or some of the cases the surgical intervention also is required to feed the patient where the tube is directly inserted into the stomach through a surgery through the abdominal wall so that tube is called as pet tube through this tube also we can feed the patient based on the requirement and specially through the tube we will be feeding the liquid material only another concern in the bedridden patient care is planning a care plan based on the assessment the nurse will be planning the care plan and will execute it mobilization of the patient is also the part of care plan which includes the active and passive exercises active and passive exercises will help in the blood circulation and which also will help the patient to heal better along with all this psychological support also plays a great role in the speedy recovery